morning, Mandeville. For this morning's assembly, I'd like to talk to you about how we feel when things change in our lives. An awful lot has changed in our lives recently, hasn't it? You can't go out as much as you used to do. You probably haven't seen much of your friends. Maybe your mums and dads have stopped going to work. And you've been doing all of your learning at home instead of coming to school. It felt a bit weird, or maybe a bit exciting at first, didn't it? But very soon it became the new normal. And we all just got on with it. After half term next week, things are going to start to change again. I don't know about you, but when I know that a change is coming, I usually feel a little bit worried in my tummy about it. I think that's because you're not quite sure what is going to happen. A fear of the unknown. After half term, some more children are going to be allowed to come back into school to do their learning. That might make them feel a little bit worried too, because it's a change. Electra and Jack from Year 6 have got some thoughts about this. Let's see what they have to say. When I go back to school, I have no one to play with and none of my friends will be there. And then when I go into class, no one will want to help me with my work and no one will want to play with me at break time and lunch time. And then when I eat lunch, then I'll be alone on a table with no one to talk to. And then when I go to secondary school, everyone will find out that, that I had no friends in primary school and they won't want to play with me. And they'll think I'm a nerd and a weirdo. And then I won't have any friends for the rest of my life. When I go to secondary school, I'll meet someone who's really nice and popular. They'll take me to parties all around the world and I'll become really popular and famous in school. But what's most likely to happen is that our friends will be there and we will still play together and they'll still like us the same that they always did. And our school is just going to be the same apart from we just have to keep a distance away from each other. Yeah. Catastrophizing is something that a lot of people do inside their head. It's when, without really realising, people start to think about the, the worst possible change that could happen, like you saw Electra do. Now, the, when you realise that is happening, the best thing to do is what you saw Jack do, which is go really, really crazy good. Once you've done both of those things, you realise that actually both the crazy bad and the crazy good probably not going to happen. That means you can then let your brain start thinking about what's most likely to happen in the change. Now you realise that Jack and Electra saw that the most likely thing was that the change that's coming will be a bit different but they'll be okay. Miss Ellingham teaches Year 6 how to catastrophize so that they can find a middle ground between the very worst thing that could happen and the very, very best thing that would, could happen because neither of those things are very likely, just as she says. Some things will have changed at school and it won't be exactly the same as it was before. But it might not be as bad as you think. In fact, it might be really exciting. After half term, children in nursery, reception, year one and year six are able to come back to school. The government has thought very hard about this and have worked out that it is safe for those children to come back. The teachers and I have had a very big job to do to make sure that everything is clean and all the things are in place that we need to do so that you can come back safely. I don't think there's anything to worry about there. Shall we have a little look around the school to see what's the same and what has changed so far? Not everything has changed at Mandeville. This all looks the same, although the grass is much longer than it should be. We have some beautiful pictures in the window. But some little things will change when you come back. Look at this on the floor here. Can you see the lines? There is exactly two metres between those lines and they've been put on the driveway 
so that people know where they can stand when they line up to come in. It's just little changes like that that means that we know we can keep everybody safe. Lots of things about Mandeville will be exactly the same as they were when you left. The buildings are the same, the grass is the same, the elephant and the lion. The woods are still there, the classrooms are still there, but some things will change and they have to change to keep you safe. Some classrooms will have tables taken out of them. These have been piled up here, look. Some things will have to be different in the classrooms. Mrs Keating's classroom has started to get ready by moving the tables a little bit further apart than usual. And can you see that they've taken a lot of the things out that you will recognise from before, but that doesn't mean that there won't be fun things to do. There will be so many fun things to do. Outside reception looks almost the same. And there will be things to play with out here. Maybe not as many as before, because we have to clean them at the end of every day. But it will be fun. Some children might have to learn in the lodge. Can you see outside the lodge, lots of things that are soft and made from fabric have been taken out. But learning in the lodge will be lots of fun as well. And most of our learning will, go, will happen outside because we have such beautiful grounds to play and to learn in. One of the other little changes is when you come into school, every time you have to use our hand sanitizer. We've got lots and lots of them all over the school, so you won't have to queue for them. Oh, hello, Mrs. Moore. Hello, Mrs. Longhurst. You see, Mrs. Moore hasn't changed at all. Are you busy? Very busy. That Very hasn't busy. changed then, has it? No. Not many people like things to change. Not even the little things especially if you're really used to them, especially if you really like them. But if you try new things, or you give things a go, then you grow to like them too. I have got to give Kevin a bit of bad news. Where is he? Oh, there he is. The news is that Tina has run out of his favourite lunch. And he's had his favourite lunch every single day for years and now he's going to have to change his lunch. I wonder how he'll feel about that. Hi Kevin. Hello. Hi I've got bad news for you I'm afraid. Really? Yeah it's from Tina. Right. She says that she's run out of the things that she needs to make your lunch every day. The ham and cheese sandwich with tomato in it. Yeah. She hasn't got enough so you're going to have to change. I don't really want to change. Well you've got to change. <laughs> okay. Well, what, what, what to? Well, you could think about that. Okay. What about a salad? A uh, but I have salad, I have tomato in it. But salad is really healthy for you and it might be really exciting, you never know. You think so? What if I ask her to put some really exciting things in it? Okay, like what? Um, pickled onions. Okay. And peppers. Alright. And sweet corn. I'm not keen on sweet corn. Okay. But... All right. Okay. How do you feel about changing? Uh, well, I don't, I don't, I don't really want to, but um, you know, I can do. And it could be good, couldn't it? Could it could be good. I'll give it a try. All right. Thanks yeah. very much. Okay. No Thanks problem. for for uh, checking the the climbing frame as well. Okay. Bye. No problem. Bye bye. Oh well, he wasn't too worried about that. I wonder whether he'll moan about it later, though. Not all children will be coming back to school. If you're in year two, year three, year four, or year five, and your parents are not key workers, not much will change for you at all. You'll still be doing your purple mash to-dos, watching the videos online, and working really, really hard at home.
while being very nice to your parents. But if you are coming back though, I'd like to tell you about just some of the changes that you might see. The biggest change are the bubbles. The government says that children can come back to school but have to be in smaller groups than they were before. They call these smaller groups a bubble because you have to imagine that there's an enormous bubble that surrounds all of you in your class. That's the children, up to 15 children, and two grown-ups in your bubble too. Now that bubble is a very strong bubble and it means that you can play as much as you like with the people inside your bubble and talk to them and do anything really. But you're not allowed to go outside of your bubble and play with somebody from a different bubble. You will have the same classroom every day and you will have the same grown-ups in your bubble every day. But when you go outside you'll have to stay with your bubble and you'll have to play together in a special part of the playground that we tell you to on that day. I have been sending lots and lots of information to your parents about all the changes that are about to happen and we are really sure that we can make this work and make it really really fun. There'll still be lots of learning that you are very used to reading, phonics, writing, maths, learning about history and geography, doing some PE, maybe some street dance, all the things that you're used to. But there's also going to be lots of other opportunities as well to have loads of fun with your friends. Today I'm sending your mums and dads some instructions for when you come back to school. But here are just a few of them for you to remember. The first one's really important. When you come back to school, you don't need to wear your school uniform. That's because the government says that everybody needs to have their clothes washed at the end of every day, or wear different clothes for the next day. So we thought it was easier if we didn't use school uniform. But you do have to be sensible with what you choose to wear. So for example, you'll be learning a lot outside and running around a lot, so wear trainers. Don't wear flip-flops or high heels. And it might be very sunny, so don't wear little tiny strappy tops that you can get sunburnt in. Make sure you're wearing a t-shirt. Don't wear shorts that are very, very, very short. It's just not appropriate for school. Perhaps you could wear leggings or a skirt, or just normal shorts. The teachers will help you if you get a bit confused with your outfits. The second thing is, please don't bring things in from home. It's really important that we keep the very, very, very minimum amount of things coming backwards and forwards to school. You won't be able to take book bag home or anything like that. Please only bring a coat if you need it and a pack lunch if you're having one. But I would like as many people as possible to have school packed lunches because that means we're reducing the number of packed lunch boxes coming into school too. Absolutely no big bags please. You don't need anything in school. We've got everything you need here. And the third thing I want to tell you is that lunches are going to be a little bit different too. Tina's going to be making some packed lunches or picnic lunches for us and they will be delivered to your classroom so that you can eat with your bubble. If it's raining, you eat inside your bubble classroom. And if it's not raining, and I hope it won't rain, then you can sit out in the, in the, on the grass somewhere. Your bubble teacher will make sure it's safe and you're not too close to any of the other bubbles. I know all of this might seem a little bit worrying because you don't know exactly what it'll feel like. But you have to admit, it's quite exciting as well, isn't it? I hope you have a really lovely half term. 
Teachers are not going to be setting any work next week, so make sure that you have a relaxing week. And when you come back, whether it's on Monday after half term or a little bit later if the government decides it's going to be later, we can't wait to see you. Bye. See you soon.